So in this video we're going to continue looking at peak amper and this time we're just going to look at how we can set the value of a label using a text variable and how we can change that uh, that value by uh, interacting with buttons in our GUI. So just again just to start up we have our plain GUI we have a window here which I have called root you'll see it in the code we've got uh, root is um, part of our TK class and so uh, what we're going to do is just put two, two buttons on there. So the first one, I'm just going to make this, we're going to have an interface where we'll say left and right. So I'm just going to put a left button, um, and this is an instance of a button. It's going to be situated in the root window. And the text, I'm just going to put left on it. And when it's clicked, it's going to call the function left. And we'll pack that into our display. And we'll do pretty much the same thing with the right button. So it's going to be a button located in root. Uh, oops, oops. The text is going to say right. And when it's clicked, it's going to call a function called right. And we'll pack that in. And just to double check that that's all working, when we run it, I... Oh, I haven't set up my... Um, functions yet, that'll be why. So we've got to do that first. Uh, just at the very top here, just underneath our import, uh, I'm just going to define our left function. Um, and for now, I might just put pass in there just so the program will run, even though the function won't do anything. All right, so now we'll just try that. If I run this, we've got our left and right buttons. Now they don't do anything, but they sit up the top and they interact. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to have a label beneath these buttons that has some content in it, and that content will change depending on which button we click on. So what we need to do is I'm gonna set up that button. I'm just gonna call it direction, sorry, not button, a label, direction label. And that's a label, it's gonna be sitting inside the root here and instead of saying text, what we're going to do is say text variable. And I'm just going to have the name of that variable as being direction. And then obviously we need to pack that in. Now right now that won't work. Nothing will happen here because we haven't actually created this variable. So just for the label, clear a couple of lines. Uh, what we need to do is we need to create this, this variable. So what did I call it? I call it direction. Now that is a type of variable, we have to tell, tell Python what it is. Now this is going to be a string variable, so in other words it's going to contain text. Uh, if it is going to be used for numbers, we can make it an integer variable, int variable. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set the value. So we go direction.set, and then in brackets I'm just going to put the text to appear to start. So choose a direction. Alright, so if we just save that now, what should happen when we run this is that this variable was set up, we set it as choose a direction, which is now going to appear as our text on our label. And there it is there. Now right now nothing is happening, because when we're clicking on these buttons, uh, those functions don't do anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the exact same bit of code here, direction.set, up in our functions where it says pass. If I say direction.set, now this is my left function, so I'm going to have it put the word left there and for my right function I'll just have it say right so this should now say when I click on the left button down the bottom here when I click on that left button it's going to call the left function and that's going to reset the string variable called direction to being left which means our label should now change because down here you can see the text variable is called direction and so when this is updated uh, the label should change. So here we go. So you can see initially it's set to ch choose a direction. When we click on left, it resets that text variable to left. When we click on right, it changes it to right and back and forth. So there you have it. That is a way of setting a variable for a label and then changing it by using uh, functions and buttons.